Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a follow-up video to clutch number four. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this snake uh, from that video. Um, basically, the sire to the clutch I had labeled as a super orange dream Enchi fire leopard pied. Um, you know, he's very, very high white. So it was a little difficult ID in him. But then I bred him to an Orange Dream Enchi Yellow Belly Head Pied, and I got Ivories in a clutch. So obviously he's Yellow Belly. But I was so stuck on the fact that he was super that I didn't stop to consider maybe he's not a super. Um, I now believe that he's an Orange Dream Enchi, yellow belly, fire, leopard, pie, and not a super. Um, this is a great example of some of the challenges that we face when we're doing some of these theoretical IDs. And I've been doing this shit for 21 years. So if I can make a mistake, anybody can make a mistake. Now, the thing that tipped me off to this was that leopard that was in the clutch and if you guys go back and watch the video you'll hear me say man this od fire leopard looks weird and the reason why he looks weird is because he's not orange dream so check <laughs> check check let's take a look at this snake again so this snake is an enchi fire leopard and it was just it was nagging me and i you know i knew something was wrong I assume that everything in the clutch would be uh, Orange Dream because I assume the male was uh, was a super, but this snake is not Orange Dream, and that and that was what was bugging me. And looking at him again, he's definitely Orange. I mean, he's definitely Fire Enchi Leopard. And that just makes more sense. And he might be yellow belly too. Oh no. Yeah, he might he might be yellow belly, but I'm gonna sell him as an Enchi Fire Leopard Head Pie. But again, guys, perfect example of some of the challenges that we face with these theoretical IDs. So this is a constant struggle. I'm always making adjustments and the reason why I'm putting out these videos is I want you guys to see this and experience this so that you understand um, why I wrote my theoretical ID policy the way that I did. Um, but again, these are these are legitimate mistakes that anybody can make, but you got to kind of follow your gut. And my gut was telling me that there was something weird about this snake. Um, so it's just been nagging me and I just it took me a few days, but I finally figured it out. All right, guys, I'm out.